viewers welcome to my channel itj olympiads and ap physics with ambarish and today in the series clear concepts with ambarish i have brought uh, another interesting and important concept in j uh, j and and olympiads also you might find this very useful the concepts of the concept of coriolis acceleration so let's try to see the coriolis acceleration through a derivation so let me state the problem consider a particle moving in a plane with polar coordinates r and theta like here this a particle shown whose uh, radial coordinate is r and the angular coordinate is theta what is the acceleration and velocities of velocity of the particle in terms of variable variables r theta and their time derivatives r dot theta dot r double dot and theta double dot so i'm interested in finding its velocity and acceleration in terms of the time derivatives of the the angular position as well as the uh, radial position okay so let's look at this problem in more detail this let's look at the derivation so now here is my particle and let me denote the tangential unit vector as theta cap and the radial unit vector as r cap so this is one unit vector and this is also one unit vector so uh, what what can i write theta cap in terms of i cap and j cap you know that the vertical component is cos theta so this is cos theta j cap and the horizontal component is sin theta but it's opposite to the i cap so uh, that makes it uh, so theta cap becomes minus sin theta i cap and plus cos theta j cap so that's what i have written so theta cap is minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap all right now what about the r cap vector so r cap vector you can see the horizontal component is going to be cos theta and the vertical component is going to be sin theta so i can write r cap vector as cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap so these are the unit vectors and i'll be differentiating you know that for finding velocity i need to differentiate the position vector and for finding acceleration i need to differentiate the velocity vector so and if i'm going to express this is the vectors in terms of theta cap and r cap so i also need the derivatives of theta cap and r cap with respect to time so uh, let's find that if, because we are going to use it uh, in the derivation so let's find out the rate of change of the tangential and the radial unit vector so uh, just differentiate theta cap with respect to time so what do you get here so you will get derivative of sin minus sin theta will be minus cos theta and since you are differentiating with respect to time so there will also be a d theta by dt so that i am writing as theta dot so there is a dot over there so minus cos theta d theta by dt i cap and uh, minus sin theta d theta by dt j cap so uh, which can also be now d theta by dt if you denote by uh, omega which is the angular velocity of p about the origin so you can also write this as what so you can see cos theta i cap and sin theta j cap are also part of the r cap unit vector so this whole thing simplifies to simply what theta cap goes to omega and you take the minus sign common outside so minus omega and the rest of it is cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap that is r cap unit vector all right so theta cap dot is minus omega times r cap all right now let me also find the derivative of r cap vector with respect to time so the same thing i am going to do so differentiate r cap with respect to time so what you are going to get minus sin theta d theta by dt i cap and plus cos theta d theta by dt j cap that's what i have written so minus sin theta theta dot i cap and plus cos theta theta dot j cap and again you can see theta dot is omega and rest of it is what so if you take omega outside common rest, rest of it is nothing but theta cap minus sin theta i cap and plus cos theta j cap which is nothing but theta cap so all right so we have differentiated the unit vectors and this is going to be handy in our derivation so we have differentiated it beforehand all right now what's the position vector so position vector is nothing but you know that magnitude is r and the direction is r cap so position vector r vector is simply r times r cap so what's the velocity vector just differentiate this with respect to time so uh, r cap uh, r, r vector dot so dot is d r vector by dt okay so dot i noting uh, using the uh, dot notation for time derivative okay so that means what that is equal to first now we use the product rule so r times r cap dot uh, plus r dot times r cap so first function derivative times second function so r dot times r cap plus r times r cap dot so r dot is nothing but radial velocity all right so rate of change of distance from the origin that is nothing but radial velocity times r cap and uh, now what about r cap dot so if you take r cap dot it is omega times theta cap so this sim simply becomes r and this is omega theta cap so this becomes omega r theta cap so uh, velocity can be simply written as the radial velocity times r cap you can say and plus this is the tangential component of velocity omega r so this is quite intuitive 
Uh, this part is very very intuitive it's simple so particle has some velocity in this direction some component in this direction so we are getting both now the next part the acceleration is not very uh, intuitive but we can still uh, do the maths and see what's the acceleration okay so let's differentiate the velocity vector okay r cap r dot times r cap plus omega r theta cap and uh, i also want to remind you the product rule for when there is a product of three functions so what's the product rule of differentiation just like for a product of two functions it is simply a times b dot plus b times a dot right so first function derivative second plus second function derivative first similarly if you have three functions you can very easily prove that the derivative of uh, abc is nothing but a dot bc plus ab dot c plus abc dot that is product that's derivative of first uh, into product of the other two plus uh, derivative of middle into the product of other two plus derivative last into uh, product of the other two so that's what i'm going to use so for this one for example omega r theta cap so its derivative with respect to time will be omega dot times r theta cap plus omega times r dot theta cap and plus omega r times theta cap dot so you can use the product rule for three functions straight away for differentiating this all right and this is simple normal two functions product rule so we can easily differentiate velocity vector so let's see what we get by differentiation okay so acceleration is uh, v vector dot which is nothing but now you take the first term so derivative of the first term uh, i mean first part of the first term that is r double dot times r cap plus r times r cap dot that's what i've written so r double dot times r cap plus r dot times r cap dot so this this much is the derivative of the uh, first uh, part of the velocity expression all right now we have another expression uh, another part of the velocity expression that is omega r theta cap so that derivative i told you product of three functions so simply use omega dot times r theta cap plus omega r dot times theta cap plus omega r times theta cap dot you can use this uh, formula very easily so it's very handy you can just use it everywhere wherever this is uh, product of three functions okay now i can simplify this uh, i am again you can see getting r cap dot so that's why i had already calculate r cap dot so i can put this omega times theta cap over here and similarly i am getting a theta cap dot over here so theta cap dot can be replaced easily by minus omega times r cap all right so if you do that you get the acceleration as this so uh, this term comes as it is this term r cap dot is replaced by uh, r uh, r cap dot is uh, here omega times theta cap so that comes omega times theta cap now this term comes as it is and by the way omega dot is nothing but angular acceleration alpha so i'll be substituting that in the end so omega dot can be written as alpha so alpha r theta cap this is okay and then uh, omega r dot theta cap comes as it is and this theta cap dot is replaced by minus omega r cap all right and if you simplify this you can see that you are getting r cap coefficient what is the cap coefficient of r cap in the entire expression so there's r double dot coming here and there's a minus omega square r coming here so r cap coefficient will be r double dot minus omega square r right and what's the theta cap coefficient now see uh, there is a omega r dot theta cap over here and there is a r dot omega theta cap so this expression and this expression are same so that is twice of r dot omega theta cap right and plus r alpha theta cap right so we just uh, uh, take the coefficients uh, combine r cap and theta cap terms separately so what do we get so this is the final expression that we uh, get in the plane motion acce net acceleration in the planar motion now this is a very important formula and i suggest you memorize this formula and uh, you might find this a little cumbersome so how to memorize so you can see that uh, this part minus omega square r cap suppose the particle were moving in a circle of fixed radius in that case what will happen you know that r da, r dot will be zero and r double dot will be zero so this formula will reduce to simple circular motion formula right that is minus omega square r r cap and plus r alpha theta cap but uh, now uh, for the general motion when the radius is also variable uh, there are two extra terms coming in so one is r double dot so this is quite intuitive so uh, if the particles radial velocity is increasing with respect to time so that also has to contribute to the radial net acceleration so that r double dot is coming from there and this minus omega square r is the usual centripetal acceleration term you can think so but remember that net radial acceleration is r double dot minus the centripetal term right okay 
and r alpha uh, is again in plane circular motion it was just r alpha theta cap right but there's one more term coming and this ter this is this term is called the coriolis acceleration 2 r dot omega so this was the theme of my presentation today 2 r dot omega times theta cap this is the tangential acceleration and this is called the coriolis acceleration it's happening because of the radial velocity so r dot is nothing but the radial velocity so twice radial velocity times omega this is your coriolis acceleration all right so this is the theory that i wanted to uh, prove now how do we use this theory let's see uh, through an example okay so this is an example uh, and if you do not know the proper theory of coriolis acceleration you might uh, end up doing a silly mistake in this problem so look at this example very carefully i'm going to analyze it properly so what's the question in the shown system a bob a is pushed with a vertical velocity v so here is a bob which is connected to a string and passing over a frictionless pulley and there's another bob uh, b over there okay so bob a is pushed with a vertical velocity v and released from the shown position so after giving it a some vertical velocity we have released it to its fate okay so after that it will have some acceleration and velocity will vary in a certain manner and uh, we have just pushed it and released okay with the velocity v the pulley is frictionless and the string is massless okay pulley frictionless and the strings are massless treating pulley and the bobs as point objects find part a acceleration of bob b immediately after a is pushed and part b angular acceleration of a about the pulley so this is going to rotate about the pulley and so radius is also going to increase so a will have some angular acceleration about the pulley we are interested in finding out that also okay so pulley can be treated as a point object and bobs also will be treated like a point objects okay so if you want you can try out this problem in the light of the theory that i just derived in the previous slide and then see my solution immediately afterwards all right so let's look at the solution now uh this is the i have shown the various components of velocities and how tension is acting so if you see the bob b so on bob b there's a tension vertically acting upwards t and there's an mg acting downwards and let's say its acceleration is a so this acceleration is going to be vertical only right so i have shown that acceleration as r double dot okay r double dot is its acceleration and if it if it has got r double dot like this towards the pulley then uh, this will have an r double dot away from the pulley apart from the centripetal term right so let's write the fbd equations for this and i've just for easy recall i've uh, reproduced that expression that i derived on the last but one slide that's the acceleration expression all right so first expression first equation is pretty simple so t minus mg is m times r double dot so this is the equation for bob b in the vertical direction okay and now for bob a if you see what's the force acting in the radial direction that is mg cos theta and this is a t inverse okay so mg cos theta minus t should be equal to now see what was the radial acceleration it was r double dot minus omega square r right and omega square r can also be written as v tangential square divided by r so you know that uh, omega is v sin theta divided by l so we can also write that instead of omega square r we can also write that v square sin square theta by l so it's one and the same thing okay so i can say that mg cos theta minus t is m r double dot minus v square sin square theta by l okay so this is the equation for this now if you see in these two equations we have two unknowns and two equations so t and r double dot are the unknowns and everything else is known and so i can easily solve for r double dot which was one part of the question finding acceleration of b so if you solve that r double dot comes to be v square sin square theta mi minus gl into 1 minus cos theta by 2l so that's the acceleration of bob b now another part was to find the angular acceleration of a about the pulley so that part also we can do readily now if you see on the bob a the tangential force is nothing but uh, g sin theta because mg is acting downwards so uh, mg sin theta is acting in this direction so tangential force is mg sin theta that means what net acceleration in the tangential direction will be nothing but g sin theta okay and that tangential acceleration g sin theta can also be equated to r alpha plus 2 r dot omega right and what is r dot r dot is the velocity of separation of bob from the pulley which is nothing but v cos theta so i can say that r alpha plus twice v cos theta into omega omega is v sin theta by l and uh, 
that should be equal to the uh, tangential acceleration which is nothing but g sin theta because there is no other force acting apart from mg sin theta in this direction. So the acceleration of a in this direction has to be g sin theta in the tangential direction alright. So g sin theta is you can say that now radius is uh, our radius is uh, l so this becomes l alpha and plus uh, twice r dot omega so r dot can be written as v cos theta okay so twice uh, uh, sorry uh, Yes, r dot is v cos theta and omega is v sin theta by l. So, I have just interchanged these two terms here. So, twice omega is v sin theta by l and r dot is v cos theta. Okay. So, this is your equation for uh, angular acceleration. You can just now uh, take alpha on one side and ev everything else to the other side and that is what you get. So, alpha is g sin theta over l minus v square sin 2 theta over l square. So, 2 v sin theta cos theta becomes uh, sin 2 theta, okay, 2 sin theta cos theta, alright. So, that is our angular acceleration and uh, that is the analysis of this problem and uh, I hope that you all found this video useful and uh, you will be able to, uh, based on this, do a few problems uh, nicely for J advanced or Olympiads. And uh, if you did like this video, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and uh, Share this video as much as possible with your friends who might be preparing for uh, IITJ or Olympiads and uh, who might find this video useful. Please share it as much as possible uh, to help me grow my YouTube channel. It's a very nascent uh, YouTube channel, hardly one and a half months old. So please help me uh, spread my channel and, uh, and do give it a thumbs up. And thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Uh, that's all for this video and see you in the next one.